Hi, I'm Karon, and in this video in particular, I just want to share with you some of the um, herbs you can take that will clean your bloodstream out, and that's really good for persons with um, diabetes or hypertension. So, um, just to take note of some of them, you might already have some of them growing in your backyard that you can benefit from or growing over your neighbor. All right, because we understand that this disease is taking out people with diabetes, hypertension, asthma, heart conditions. So we have to do everything we must to protect ourselves and make sure that we don't have to reach the hospital. So I'm just going to show you, um, you have the sulfur bitters, right? If you can find that, that's good. You have osnea. All right, Ursi, that's also a very good um, bitters. It's also very good for the urinary tract. So if you have a urinary tract in infection, your cranberries is good, but you can also use Osnea, all right? Um, you have your slippery elm bark. That's the bark that is used for, and it re it's really good for hypertension. It's good for blood flow and it really cleanses the blood. So men, I did mention this in the video to the men and I did say it was best to use with saw palmetto. So I hope some of you have already ordered yours. Now for the hypertension, this one is really, really good. Hawthorne berries for those suffering with hypertension. If you're able to find the, the tree, the plant in your yard or your neighbor, you can start checking around for it, but very good results with this one. All natural, very good, and it supports heart health. And most things that's good for hypertension also helps the heart to understand that because if your uh, blood pressure gets out of hand, you're talking about a risk for heart disease and stroke. So you want to be very, um, very vigilant when you're talking about hypertension. Burdock is another very good one, burdock root. So if you can find this, we're talking about things that cleanse the blood as well as will help with hypertension or diabetes. Berberine, as bitter as they come. <laughs> very good <laughs> to help you with hypertension. Another one that is really very good is grape seed. It is really bitter, but if you take that when the pressure is up it just and just go and relax for 30 minutes it brings it down almost immediately and i find that to be true as well with the cucumbers the garlic um the ginger and the lemon when you juice those together and sweeten it with honey you just want to relax for 30 minutes check the pressure again you are fine and for me with those things i find no matter how high it gets this is what i use all natural to to um to take care of that so if you can't get to your doctor in this time and you need to have your blood pressure under control you want to get some of these and your grape seed the grape seed i can't speak enough of and the author berry very very good um hibiscus is another one and i mentioned that in one of my earlier videos um, it, it has a red bloom, very, we called it nosy. We used to pluck the little, um, a little part out of it and stuck it on our noses when we were growing up. And we call that nosy. The leaves are really good. It's very good for hypertension. So if you're not able to get to your doctor and you struggle with high blood pressure, you're struggling with, um, diabetes, you're talking about your neem, you're talking about your moringa, you're talking about your cirrhosis and make it a part of your daily supplement. This is how you help to manage disease and take your health into your own hands. And I want to encourage you to make this a practice, especially in this time. We don't want after COVID to be going back to old practices, but whatever you've learned, make it a part of your daily practice going forward. Have a wonderful evening.